Hey there gamers, this is V back with some more gunship battle crypto conflict. Today video I'd like to show you about a, sh a mini trick for people that uh, don't have teams or small alliances and stuff like that that they actually need for their equipment to upgrade it and they lack the power to do the Royal Armada bases for the reinforcing agents. So this is a way of kind of unlimited reinforcing agents. So the first thing you, you want to do is have a couple of them so you'll be able to use the equipment and you know that the equipment materials you basically do them everywhere. So this goes like this, I'll give you the the crafting recipe and everything for 100 units and the cost itself. So basically you craft, you go to upgrade it all up to level 3 which is the easy part and sometimes you actually get the ultimate and it's, it's gonna cost you less titanium. So when you reach level 3 you don't go through because it's starting to cost you from one reinforcing agent to five so then I go back and just purely destroy it now in certain scenarios you do get less than the one that you invested but in most scenarios you get over it so I did some math and based on the investment that you do on the reinforcing agent for example for 100 units you will uh, you will involve about 230k titanium for the whole process of crafting and uh, what is it called and the upgrading and uh, I don't find that much 230 that's a few trips to the titanium mine and get that back and in terms of reinforcing agent you'll invest obviously 300 or less because you do get the ultimates from time to time so as, as a cap smack of 300 units per 100 uh, items so you invest that and the returns will be about twice close to twice so for 100 units my math did to uh, 800 return if you take off the investment of uh, 300 that will be a 500 reinforcing engines uh, on plus also in terms of materials that you need to uh, to craft these items is 300 per units as you can see it only gives you about between 10 and 50 percent return so if uh, when i'm crafting it you have 300 but when i'm destroying it you get up to 50 or less which is about between 10 and 15 uh, percent of the outcome so for 100 units you get 100 units will cost you 30k with 50 percent uh, i put to 4.5k return which is, implies that you're able to make a, a couple of more of those so uh, that will help you with more reinforcing agents as a, as a return. Like I said, 300 investment of reinforcing agents, 800 return, that's a plus of 500. All you need is, of course, patience to keep doing this on and on. But now, the best moments when you actually want to, want to do it. First, you go to the events, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you have the build-up day instead of uh, as a event of the day. So on the build up a day what you're crafting it goes towards it so you want that to happen so I'll recommend to do it on the weekend when you actually have that uh, that event on and on the second chance you you go also for the typhoon event sometimes you get the admiral typhoon event as a crafting so that's your pretty much your uh, your time to actually do it because that will help you go into the ranking and some blueprints for jets and some titanium and some other rewards don't hurt as much and now on top of all of that you want to increase your amount of uh, of reinforcing agents by spending less so that comes the the ranking which you go to world ranking and on the bottom you have where the research and the equipment reforge equipment upgrade the ranking so every two weeks when this uh, goes to zero you can go for the equipment reforge and start reforging basically if you time it, if you have a bit of laziness there and you want to wait till the Admiral Day craft event is, you wait, but this lasts for two weeks. And these boxes are actually giving you a decent amount of reinforcing agent. So uh, I don't remember last time when I was about top 50 and anyway, so I got like a thousand as a minimum uh, reinforcing agents. So uh, that help a lot and you start building them slowly one by one until you reach a certain degree. So now, based on the events that they are sharing every couple of weeks, you do get the upgrade event on the this promotion center. 
so when that uh, that upgrade pops in you can actually use them and on the other weeks you just gather them on and on and on and then of course go for your luck on the equipment upgrade so you also have the the choice of uh, of going with a hundred percent if you wanna by getting i recommend to go on the same item to get those uh, accelerators but if not you can gamble so far i made my equipment as it is right now which is plus 15 some of them and um, lately i've been working on this but it failed quite a lot so i play some sort of gamble so i go above 10 percent if it's about 10 percent i go for it uh, with minimum spent of accelerator so uh, that imply i'll have less uh, less agents to use so um, or you can just keep wasting and wasting and wasting until you get full accelerator to guarantee you this uh, successful rate but for the CC Cuba is actually important but for other piece of equipment you can risk it from a, from a bit because they are not that expensive let me unequip it to show you so uh, it goes only on 400 and the percentage of uh, success rate is actually higher without any accelerators so 17 accelerators I already have over 65% and that implies because every time you're using ray force engaging you get only 4 instead of an 8 like I have to use for Cuba and it's also the same plus 10 so um, there is a way to actually make it uh, make it work and just by crafting equipment and of course equipment you uh, you make tons of it by killing fleets as you know and also royal uh, royal things but do some using them for a, a certain type only i want uh, to make another weapon which i have uh, last one in the already started in the collection with the legendary equipment so i want to add it here and uh, yeah that's pretty much about it or if you actually have a team a bunch of people that are uh, logged in at the same time with you you can go ahead and go for uh, royal armada which is uh, the easiest way to uh, to make this uh, reinforcing agents but if you don't have a team that's your other choice how to make them also do not forget on the point shop you can buy a hundred and something from here on daily 120 so uh, that's how you gather them so if you work on them every three weeks by the time the next event hits you will see you have a bunch of them uh, already stored and then you can uh, have some fun and play with it on the equipment event and that's how it goes pretty much unlimited so i will leave the the costs in uh, in writing in the comment section i'm gonna pin it there and uh, if you have any better ideas don't forget to drop your comments share your thoughts and most important don't forget to subscribe in case you didn't thank you for watching guys and i will see you on the next video